guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck. Alright, a lot of people have been asking me, Jeff, when are you going to make me some chicken and dumplings? And a lot of other people have been asking me, Jeff, when are you going to make me a chicken pot pie? And Jeff, when are you going to make me some dressing? Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. How about we kind of do all three together and make a chicken pot pie that has a consistency kind of of dressing, but is more biscuit based with the chicken and dumplings. Like, you see what I'm saying here? A chicken pot pie that's incredibly, incredibly easy to make, like practically everything that I make, but it's also going to be incredibly satisfying and really, really, really decadent. And the consistency is going to be thick and it's going to be creamy at the same time. So I'm just going to stop running my mouth off because we're all starving right now and we have some chicken pot pie to make. The very first thing I need is some puff pastry sheets. So I happen to have, oh, look at that, right in the front of my freezer. What do you know? I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna let it thaw. It's gonna take about 30 minutes. So just take it out first and let it thaw. All right, so we're gonna start with two to two and a half pounds of chicken breasts. Cut up into pretty sizable chunks like this. We're also gonna take one medium yellow onion and dice them up. Now we wanna take about a pound or about two Idaho potatoes peeled and chopped into sizable chunks just like so. Now I'm going to go to the Instant Pot and I'm going to add two tablespoons or a quarter of a stick of butter that's salted. And then come down here, I'm going to go up to saute, select that, and I want to be on the high setting, so then hit start. Or the more setting if you are on a duo series. And once our butter is all melted and it begins to bubble, let's add in our onions. And let's make sure we coat all of our onions with the butter, and then we'll stir for about two to three minutes. And after we're done stirring our onions up and they're softened a bit, let's add our chicken to the pot. Out of our chicken, we're going to add a teaspoon of dried thyme, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of dried basil, two teaspoons of poultry seasoning, a half a teaspoon of seasoned salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And let's immediately stir everything up so that our chicken and our onions and all of our seasoning and spices here get mixed together. And we're going to cook until our chicken is just, you know, I would say brown, but it's more about it becoming white on all sides. All right, and after stirring for a few, we're going to add in one tablespoon of a nice crushed garlic. And then just stir that in with the chicken and everything else. And once we're looking like this with our chicken like that on all sides and it's nice and seasoned, we're going to add our chicken broth. I'm going to add three cups of it. And now I'm going to finish it off by adding my potatoes. Let's just give everything a nice stir so everything is nice and combined in the pots. Great, now let's add our lid. Secure the lid, make sure we're, we're automatically in sealing position with the Ultra. And we're going to come down here, we're going to hit cancel, and then we're going to go up to pressure cook or manual if you're on a duo series. Select it, and we're just going to go here and select it for five minutes on high pressure. That's it, guys. Start it up. And here comes the secret ingredient to making this chicken pot pie super rich and super thick and phenomenal. You guessed it, guys, or maybe you didn't. Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. I'm going to use a half a box of this and it's gonna make a phenomenal 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 texture to this chicken pot pie give it a lot of body and you can totally use biscuit if you can't find this stuff I'm gonna use half the bag or one and two thirds of a cup I'm gonna use a third of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and a third of a cup of a lovely milk use whole milk and then I'm just gonna stir everything up until it forms into a dough but you don't want to over mix it and once it's looking like this it's all said and done all right so just set it aside we'll also take an egg and crack it into a bowl. There we go. And then just whisk it up. We're gonna use this to brush on top of our puff pastry crust at the end. Great, and now let's just set this aside. And now we've just finished cooking, so let's do a quick release. And now that the pin dropped, let's take the lid off and looking good and smelling great. All right, guys, from the folks that bring you better than bouillon, they also have a better than gravy. Now, this stuff is phenomenal, and I'm going to add a packet to this to mix it right into the pot, bring it to a boil. Now, again, if you don't find this exact brand, that's okay. You can just use any kind of chicken gravy. That's fine. But we're going to put a packet of this deliciousness in there. And it's going to really thicken it up. And you can also add two packets in there. I'm actually going to add two because one packet is for one cup, so it'll be nice and thick. And give it a stir so it's all mixed into our liquid. Alrighty, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the pot onto saute. I'm going to hit the cancel button, I'm gonna come down to saute again and just leave it so it's on high and hit start. And I'm gonna bring this to a bubble. I'm gonna wanna take a 10 ounce package of these classic mixed vegetables, that's the frozen peas, carrots, corn, and string beans. And while I'm waiting for it to bubble, I'm also gonna add in our vegetables. And then give those a stir as well.
And once everything comes to a bubble, we're going to take our biscuit mixture, and it doesn't really matter, you don't have to be all nice and neat with it, it's fine. You're just gonna plop it into like sizable little balls and throw it inside of our boiling mixture there. And again, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be neat because it's all gonna get mixed in anyway. Yeah, they kind of look like matzo balls actually. So after we put them in, let them sit there for about three minutes on one side so they can firm up a little bit from all the heat and cook a little bit, and then we'll just give them a flip over so we can get the other side. And after about four minutes on one side, we're just gonna flip them over. It's okay if they attach to each other and break up a little bit, it's fine. Just give them a little turnover. And after about seven minutes total of cooking the biscuits, we're gonna take our mixing spoon and we're gonna break them up and then we're just gonna basically blend them into the rest of our pot pie filling. It's gonna really thicken things up. And this is exactly why I'm only using half of the biscuit mix. If you want it super duper thick, use the whole bag and double the cheese and the milk. All right, so let's come down to the pot and let's turn the heat off. And then we're going to give everything one final stir because we're going to add in one last ingredient. And our final step here is to add in one cup of heavy cream to give it the perfect creaminess. And then mix it in with everything. Now you see, once we've added our heavy cream, everything is so rich and thick and creamy. Exactly how I love a chicken pot pie's filling. None of that, you know, runniness. I want it to be nice and thick with my chicken pot pie. All right, now we're going to transfer these into ramekins, and then we're going to top it with a puff pastry and throw it into the oven. And by the way, these ramekins are eight ounces in size which is the perfect amount in my opinion. So now that our puff pastry is nice and thawed, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these ramekins that I have here and I'm gonna lay them on top of the pastry and then I'm gonna cut around so it's gonna leave enough to overlap so that I can fold it over the sides. All right, so definitely leave a little bit of extra there so we want it to fold over the side. Now that we've cut our puff pastry out, we're gonna flip this over and just leave it here for now. So now let's spoon this incredible, incredible chicken pot pie, the filling, of course, and just put it inside one of our ramekins. Want to get it as close to the top as possible so the puff pastry has a place as a foundation to rest on. So there's enough chicken pot pie in here to make at least six servings, by the way. And now let's take our puff pastry and then simply just, you know, pull it over the sides so it's kind of nice and tightened inside. And lastly, then let's take our egg wash and then just drizzle it right on the top and around the sides of our delicious puff pastry. And then place our prep pies on a foil lined baking sheet. So I preheated my oven to 400 degrees while my chicken was cooking in the pot, so I'm just gonna pop this into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the crust becomes nice and flaky. And 10 minutes have passed, so let's check on it, and oh, that is gorgeous. Look at how beautiful that is. Adorable, isn't it? Can we just take a moment to admire this adorable, perfect little chicken pot pie? Here, here's some extra chicken pot pie filling, because why not? You need some extra, right? Man, that's adorable. Let's try it out. Now, if you don't really feel like getting the ramekins and getting the puff pastry and pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes till it flakes up and gets amazing and do it pie style. There's another amazing way to do this, and that would be with a sourdough bread bowl. I, I don't know, can you hear me? Can you hear me? So if you go to Panera, if you ask them, they will sell you the sourdough bread bowls they use for like their French onion soup and whatever else they have, and the top is already sort of serrated. So all you have to do is take the top off, just scoop out whatever bread is kind of left in there and hollow it out and make way for pouring in our amazing chicken pot pie filling. And then put some of that amazingness right inside the bowl. All right, and then add in our wonderfully thick and fabulous chicken pot pie right into this amazing sourdough bread bowl. And you are going to have another amazing experience because you can eat the bowl. There's our beautiful chicken pot pie in a sourdough bread bowl. Now you could have it in the sourdough bread bowl, or you could have it in the ramekins with the puff pastry, or you can have it both ways. Any way you want it, that's the way you eat it. Mm. Here we go, guys. All right, I'm gonna dig into the top. Oh, already, it's unbelievable. Oh, who doesn't love an incredibly beautiful flaky crust? Oh, let's just get in there with it right now. Mm. The crust sometimes is like my favorite part. Now let's get inside and get into the filling. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that is a chicken pot pie. Thick, rich, not watery, not runny, exactly how I like my chicken pot pie. The, the consistency, everything about it is just spot on. And I mean, look at this, look how adorable this is. It's the perfect serving size. Eight ounces is all you need for this, guys. It's a pretty rich dish. Mm, I love that crust. Mm. 
look at the amazing film. Look at how it steams, it's piping hot, but it's perfect. It's not gonna burn your mouth really either. And here, you gotta look at it for yourself. Here, look at the top, do you see that? That beautifulness in there? Oh, it's absolutely, it's just gorgeous. It's adorable and I'm obsessed with it and I love chicken pot pie. It's, it's so delicious, it's so easy to make as you saw. And guys, if you like these videos, if you want more easy to follow videos and recipes, go to PressureLuckCooking.com. I have so many different recipes. I usually come out with about two a week, so I just keep building and building. If you like the recipes and you like Pinterest, a lot of people here like Pinterest, so if you want to pin it to any board, just hover over any photo and any recipe, and a little save icon will appear in the upper left corner. Click on it, pin it to any board you want on Pinterest. Go to facebook.com slash pressure luck cooking and like pressure luck on Facebook. So much content there. You don't want to miss out. You'll find out when new updates come, new tips, new videos, new sales on things for the Instant Pot. All good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at pressure luck because whenever a new recipe comes out, it gets tweeted. Go to my YouTube and subscribe there too. I usually put my videos there first. Guys, thank you so much again for everything and all your support. And because this chicken pot pie is so fly, I have to go and say bye-bye. Mm, awesome.